Scientists in the UK say new research undermines a popular belief that people of African, Caribbean and Asian heritage have heavier bones, making it harder for them to float in water. The research was led by the Black Swimming Association and carried out at the University of Portsmouth. Established five years ago, the association aimed to dispel this widely believed myth. Saren Jones from the BSA says it's unclear where the myth first originated. Now we thought if we could put this myth, which over time felt more like a belief to science, and prove that this is not the case, we could actually remove an obstacle that exists between black and brown communities who feel disengaged with swimming and aquatics, and not just the aquatic sector, but we could also change their relationship with the water. Dr Heather Massey from the University of Portsmouth says on average people of black heritage do have a higher bone mineral density. So uh, th this may be where the, the myth is, or, or perpetuates that myth, but we've proven with this research that even individuals with higher bone mineral density are able to float successfully in water. Statistics show black children in England are three times more likely to drown than white children. We know that 96% of adults in England do not swim regularly. We know that water safety isn't prioritised in schools, in local swimming clubs and in after school programmes either. So when we're looking at the broader picture of things, black and Asian communities face a higher risk of drowning. The study found with proper instructions, 90% of participants could float successfully for two minutes. Body composition analysis assessed factors that affect buoyancy and tested different floating techniques. The results indicated body fat percentage rather than bone density is a factor in buoyancy, though not the sole determinant of one's ability to float. Jones says the way Britain teaches floating needs to change from a one method for all approach. Floating is unique and bespoke to everybody depending on their unique body composition. But as long as your face is up, and you are breathing and you are safe and you are able to keep the, 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 your airways open and receive oxygen, you are floating. The BSA hopes the research will help improve attitudes to swimming in black and Asian communities and encourage more people to learn how to float.